Hi everyone, this is Michael from DYW. Today I'm going to talk about, actually I'm going to answer to a very, very common question when it comes to creating a website. You got two things to take in consideration. Domain name and the web host. That's what we're going to see on that video. Well, when it comes to web hosting, you might consider a good one. I mean, by good one, you have to make sure that they've got a reliable customer service, reliable services. Uh, you don't want your website to break down, to go under maintenance. Imagine if you got an online shop. What's going to happen if your uh, website breaks down uh, for uh, 24 hours? Nobody wants to go down that road. And if you don't consider a good one as well, it might, it will slow your website. So me personally, I'm using HostGator. Uh, very, very good. I never had any issue over the past years. Uh, I'm very happy, very pleased with. Uh, let's have a look. So if you go to their portal, uh, you will see uh, uh, you will see a sum up of what I told you. Uh, they guarantee you a 24/7 support uh, online. Uh, you got a 45 days guarantee as well, guys, which is pretty good. Most of the competitors offer you a 30 days uh, guarantee. Uh, it means that if you're not happy with the services, you can cancel and move on. So let's go to their web hosting plans. So actually, they've got three web hosting plans. Uh, if you compare as well with the competitors, uh, they're the cheapest one. If you compare to GoDaddy, to Squarespace, which is pretty expensive. Uh, and they even offer you some credits for Google Ads uh, or Bing Ads credits, which is good compared to the competitors. So let's move on to the different plans. You got three plans, the hatching plans, the baby plan, and the business plan. Let's have a look what's the difference between these three plans. Basically, the action plan is really good. Everything depends on what you need, guys. If you, got each, you just want to go for one website, one domain name, go for it, guys. Uh, after, if you, if you consider having uh, different blogs, uh, a main website, go for the baby plan, guys. You see the difference is you just have a single domain name for the action plan. And for the baby plan, you've got unlimited domains. After the business plan, guys, is something different, if more for agencies or if you want to even host some website yourself or, for example, your clients. So let's have a look. Let's say we're going to play secure. There is not a huge difference. You see, it's a, not even a dollar monthly of difference uh, for the baby plan and the action plan. Uh, so let's click on buy now. So as soon as you enter in your plan, uh, price plan, uh, you will have two options. Choose a domain name, so two options. You don't own any domain name, and uh, so you want to register it. Or you already have a domain name. By example, you want to change of supplier, uh, or you used to have uh, a website, uh, it closed down for a reason, but you kept the domain name, you want to reuse, or you you redo your website, for example, uh, and you will want you want to pass with another web hosting. Let's imagine, for example, uh, you are a barber shop. You, you own a barber shop business, barber corner, for example. Uh, let's enter barber corner. So you can choose uh, .com, uh, .org, whatever. Uh, so you choose, for example, I want to see the .com. Actually, it tells you that the .com uh, is not available, but you got different options available. You got the .net, the .site, the .club, and so on. You got different prices as well. You can see that for the .net, it's available, it's free, and on top of that, it's free for the first year. It's not too bad. Compare if you compare, some of them can go up to fifteen dollars per year to renew the domain name. So you can go by example, you take the barber corner dot net here we go after you have to choose your plan so we say that because we selected the baby we, st we stick on the baby after you got your billing cycle it means guys it's 
up to you. You can pay monthly, quarterly, uh, twice per year, once per year, uh, or you can go even for the three years plan, which is going to offer you a pretty decent uh, uh, discount. You will drop down from uh, a three fifty eight dollar a month to two ninety eight. After you will enter your details, guys. Username, security pin, whatever you want, your billing information, email. Um, you can pay by credit card or PayPal, which is great as well. Uh, if it's more secure, I mean, who knows? If you, if you feel more secure with PayPal, go for PayPal. Uh, so fill in all this information, your address, uh, your location. And after you got some options. Guys, these options are optionals. Uh, it's completely up to you. Me, I strongly uh, advise you, recommend you to go, by example, for the security uh, padlock. Uh, uh, you've, got, uh, you've got different one. It's, it's up to you guys, uh, SEO tool as well for your positioning. Uh, you've got different, many tools available. It's up to you if you want to pay everything to a one supplier. Uh, or if you want to have different accounts, it's up to you guys. Um, and after, uh, actually, as are running uh, a discount this month, uh, so you got uh, a decent discount, you see, guys. And it's up to you if you take off these options, uh, the backup, uh, backup your world as well, your work as well. It's not too bad. You see the the, the price drops down, guys. So it's up to you guys. Let's say you are happy with that. You have to uh, read the terms and conditions uh, to tick the box and check check out now. As soon as you check out, you're going to receive an email. They're going to forward you. They're going to send you uh, your, a recap of your username and they will set for you a unique password. It's a, a long one, a tricky one. Uh, it's up to you to change it. It's very easy to change it after that. So you go to your email box. And after uh, you will have to log in, don't worry about it. They will provide you the link and you will arrive to your C panel. So what is a C panel? It's a control panel. It's where you're gonna manage all the information of your website as well. Which a good thing as well, as I spoke uh, just earlier, uh, you can uh, secure a backup uh, directly uh, with those gator. It's always good as well to consider having some uh, some backups, um, extra backups, even if even if you, you set up some plugins with some backups uh, with WordPress, it's better twice than, um, than losing everything. So you can enter your username, your password, and you log in. As soon as you log in, you enter in your control panel. So the control panel, what we're gonna look for is to install WordPress. So to, to do that, uh, you're gonna go, sorry, my son, my son just entered in the room. Uh, you've got two options, the quick setup or the custom install setup. Let's go for the custom one. Here, don't change anything. Uh, the version, they always uh, provide you the last version. Here, you got the domain names that you chose, that you bought. Uh, after, you see, you can have several, but anyway, you choose the ones that you, you just pay for, maybe, if you got an account with them. Uh, you can customize your site name, the site description. Um, you can create an admin password, username, um, email address. These ones are some dummy ones. They are, uh, you can select uh, your language, so you've got a wide range of languages. And here, uh, you can go for the classic editors, but no worries, it's something that you will be able to go back as soon as you will set up your uh, WordPress uh, platform um, after they provide you some information. Here, don't touch anything and select uh, a theme. No worries again, guys. Uh, select whatever theme, these are some really basic themes just to create the frame of your website. As soon as you will have WordPress, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, you will go around Google, check some themes 
and download uh, your appropriate themes uh, related to your activity, guys. So you just have to press install uh, and the application will run. You will have WordPress setup. As soon as you got your WordPress uh, setup, uh, you want to enter to your dashboard, your WordPress dashboard. So you've got different options to do that, but one of the quickest one as well. So you got your URL, the URL you just bought from uh, your domain name that you just bought from uh, Osgator, and you enter slash WP admin. Yeah. And you press enter. And you will arrive to your WordPress uh, dashboard. So we left cPanel behind. And we want to focus to WordPress. That's what we are inter interesting to create your website. So you enter uh, your details. So the, pass the password uh, that you set up, the username that you set up earlier, uh, right here. You see, guys, it was that one. And you enter to your dashboard. And here you got your uh, WordPress dashboard. And you're ready to create. Uh, your WordPress uh, website, blog, whatever you want to call it. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you got any question, any suggestion, don't hesitate to write down any comment below and subscribe, hit the button and subscribe to, our, to my YouTube channel if you want to know some more about online businesses. Bye, guys.